I just realized that I need to be a therapist for many men out there because the whole movement now is for the women. What most people are doing now is to champion the cause for women. What about the men? Someone once said that when the men are sound, everybody is sound. And I so believe it. I so strongly stand for that. Hey, welcome back to Quecho Global. Today, I want this conversation to be more fun. Something you can relate with. And if you are in that place, this is something more like a contribution to you to see how you can resolve that quickly and help you be able to know how to relate with yourself as a man and perhaps you're in a relationship it will help you to make it better i want to share three stories with you and i'll give you three reasons or a little more on why you need this and resolve it quickly the first story kojo kojo didn't grow up with his mother at home kojo didn't literally know his mother what happened was that Kojo grew up believing and knowing that his early sister was his mother. Until he got to know that this was his mother at age 15 years about. He and his mother never saw eye to eye. Until later time something happened and Kojo and, their, Kojo and his mother began to see eye to eye. Now they could actually sit down and have a conversation. Kwame. Hmm. Kwame had an issue with his dad. Now, Kwame's dad had a wife, but his dad went ahead to have an affair with a different woman and he gave birth to Kwame. After that, in Kwame's growing process and all of that, even at his age now, Kwame's dad never really see Kwame. Kwame's dad can literally even suck Kwame out of the house to go and live somewhere. Kwame's dad never sits down to have conversation with Kwame and the whole point is that the man never see the guy. Kwame is struggling, is he not? Okay, now let's go to Evans. Evans is the last guy. Evans <laughs> had a problem with his mother. What was the problem? The mother died as a result of cancer. And well, Kwame was hoping and praying and believing and did all he could do to be sure that the mother survived the cancer, but the mother didn't. Kwame's belief in God and church and other things so affected him. Kwame literally doesn't really believe in going to church. He doesn't really, his, his contributions towards uh, relationship, towards marriage, towards women, it's some way now. What do you think is the problem with these three stories I just shared with you? Big problem, is it not? Okay. The underlining point to these stories is that there is something that is long overdue hidden. There is something that has been held on for so long a time with these three men. And I'm sure it's not only for just these three men, but for a lot of men out there who are in this place. In essence, all of us we have to be able to accept, put our egos aside as men and accept that all of us are broken. We are all broken. You need to accept that. It is in accepting that you are broken that you can get fixed. It's not bad to accept that you were broken or you are broken to get fixed. It's actually a good thing because there learning, becoming better starts. now. These three stories, there, there are core things that are in between these three stories that without these men making an effort, 
taking bold steps to be able to sit down with themselves first sit down with the issue and resolve it nothing in their relationships will work if not they might blame it on somebody let me tell you the first reason to this story to the second person whose dad had an issue with him here's what he needs to do what he's missing is fatherly authority in his life what is missing is fatherly love in his life what is missing is the father figure in his life think about it if this guy should be in a relationship do you think he'll be able to father you well as a woman do you think he'll be able to express authority in the relationship with you do you think this guy will be able to understand the whole concept about the role of a man in the relationship or with a woman or in the family do you think he'll be able to do that if you don't think so then here's what you have to do either you help yourself as a man and get this done with and here's what you are going to do if you can find a nice way to sit your father down the best you can do is to pour your heart out tell him all the pain you have tell him all the hurt you have if your father will only give you a chance and but if he, even if he, having, he doesn't give you a chance push your way through tell him all that you feel if you think your father doesn't like you if you think your father doesn't love you he doesn't give you ears tell him all that and see if he will be able to give you ear if he gives you ears he will learn from it he'll be able to know how to relate with you when you are done in all of this and you tell him but i forgive you and then you go on your own and forgive yourself the first process is to heal heal after healing that is when that void you have been feeling for so long will get salted that emptiness you have been feeling for so long will get full you have to heal you have to go to daddy and talk to daddy and let's come back to the woman now for Evans whose mother died and was so expecting all of that and all of that listen Evans you need to heal you need to heal and this healing has nothing to do with God has nothing to do with your mother's death has nothing to do with you your only problem is that you thought you could control the situation but you can't control situations you can only be able to see them and avoid them but you can't control situations then also you should know that there are some things that you can't so have so much expectations for them your issue was so much expectation for god probably for your mother or for yourself and you need to be able to work on these things and if you don't do this if you don't get healed you are just going to sink with that young lady that you're going to be in a relationship with not even that in the first point but you're going to sink yourself into the pit now listen bible says that he who digs a pit falls in there's a hedge about you bible also says that he who breaks the hedge a serpent comes in and bite so if you don't sit down with yourself to work on yourself to heal to let go of all of this pain all of this hurt you are going to just drown yourself in it and if by misfortune or fortune some girl finds you you're just gonna sink with that girl it's not gonna go a long way for both of you it's gonna sink in wasting your time wasting resources wasting energies wasting a lot of things in this affair you're gonna have 
And let's go back to the first guy. You just have to call mommy. Just like Kwame's own was. Just call mommy and talk to mommy. Heal. Embrace the motherly wound and get healed from it. Embrace the motherly love and get f to feel love. In all these three stories and all these reasons I've given, the underlining thing here is get healed. After you get healed, forgive. Forgive all them who have hurt you. And after forgiving them, forgive yourself. Nobody, nobody deserves to sink in any misfortune. Nobody deserves that. And if you don't figure this out to work on it, you sink with somebody, it's going to be a great detriment to you. And for you, the sisters out there, if you are in such relationship, well, you can pray for that guy. We can help him heal and he'll be fine. But do not sink with her, neither yourself. Nobody deserves it. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified in my next video.